And why, and this morning as we delve into these verses, we will get a clear comprehension of why we must preach the gospel. The first thing I want you to notice in verses 16 and 17 is the confidence of the gospel. The confidence of the gospel. The Apostle Paul begins the articulation of his approach to ministry with a statement of his perspective that he possesses regarding the gospel. Notice he says here, For I am not ashamed of the gospel. Now he paints the picture of his disposition through a negative phraseology. He says, not ashamed. Hmm. Now, why would somebody be ashamed of something? Shame arises out of the deficiency or corruption in that over which the shame is accrued. So as one compares that which they possess with what is possessed by another, they are ashamed of what they possess. Or when they look at what they possess and see in it a lack, they become ashamed of it. One sees that shame arises out of two things, the nature of a thing as seen or perceived. Mm -hmm. That's where shame comes from. L let me put this concept in a positive fashion. By Paul saying he's not ashamed, he's actually affirming the confidence that he possesses. Mm -hmm. Well, what produces confidence? Confidence grows out of the surety and capacity of that in which the confidence is placed. Amen. So for something to imbibe confidence means it must be sure or full of capacity. In other words, what it is and or what it produces is of such a nature as you can rest upon it or trust in it. Yes. Well, what is it about the gospel that produces this disposition of confidence? Well, Paul answers that in the rest of verse 16 and in verse 17. And we'll, what we'll see here are two things that Paul identifies that produces this confident disposition that he possesses towards the gospel. The first is the nature of the gospel. The nature of the gospel. And the second is the impact of the gospel. Those two things are what lead the apostle Paul to his confidence. First, the nature of the gospel. There's something about what the gospel is that led Paul to be free from doubt in reference to it. Now, when I say the nature of the gospel, Paul's focus here is not upon the content of the gospel. Don't confuse this as the content of the gospel. I believe uh, uh, Brother Leach spoke on the content last night, what the gospel is. Well, when I say the nature of the gospel, Paul's focus is not on the content here. But the nature of the gospel is rather focused on the nature of the message. Paul is looking at the gospel from a systemic level, from the perspective of its essence. Paul is directly answering the issue of his confidence. And we know that because notice how this verse has the word for in it. For. Paul says, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Why? For. He's explaining his confidence. He's giving reason. Hmm. He's giving cause. He's giving the purpose why his confidence rests in the gospel. Because, he says, it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Man. Here, take notice that in describing the gospel systemically, Paul defines it as to the essence of the gospel, the catalyst or activator of the gospel, and then the scope of the gospel. Three things under the nature of the gospel. Its essence, its catalyst or activator, and its scope. 